Hey, it's Nico from BMT. Right now I'm here at the Soho Playhouse down in New York City for the Miss Tourism USA event. I hope you enjoy the show. Okay, so welcome ladies and gentlemen to the Miss Tourism final and charity show for Miss Tourism New York 2017. So as we all know, this year Miss Tourism organization has teamed up with Flocks for Flips, an organization that gathers and donates flip flops to children living in poverty. So we'd like to thank all of you who have helped us to provide those shoes for children to go to school and get an education and end the cycle of poverty. So thank you so much to all of you for coming tonight. So the, I think my mic is off, but I don't know if you can hear me. So the Miss Tourism organization is very, very responsible for choosing a representative to go to pageants all over the world and represent the United States. So the Miss Tourism organization technically aims to increase the relations with foreign countries. When these girls go abroad, they get to experience all of the tourism of all these host countries, bring that experience back, and also share the culture of the United States with girls from all over the world. And having personally competed in both Miss Tourism Queen of the Year and Miss Tourism Planet in Greece, which was amazing, I know how important these experiences are, not just for our girls, but also for each and every one of the countries involved. So please join me in welcoming tonight's featured performers, Rishi Rain, Scott Tixier, and Vinnie Raniolo, as we welcome the girls, the contestants of this year's Miss Tours of New York 2017. Hot town, summer in the city, back of my neck getting dirty gritty. A big town, isn't it a pity? Gonna look in every corner of the city. Until I'm wheezing like a bus stop running up the hill, gonna meet you at the rooftop. But at night it's a different world Go out and find a girl Come on, come on and dance all night Despite the heat, it'll be alright And babe, don't you know it's a pity the days Can't be like the nights in the summer In the city, in the summer, in the city Cool town, evening in the city Dressing so fine and looking so pretty Cool cat looking for a kitty And gonna look in every corner of the city Until I'm wheezing like a bus stop Running up the hill Gonna meet you on the rooftop Rondo Pickney, Miss Crocs This segment will equate for 25% of our contestant scores. So, can you play me a beat? I've been actually, I told him, I was like, you know, while we're up there, you're going to have to do that thing that people do with guitars. That's, okay. I'm ready for the violin. This is called jamming. It's a jam session. So just so you know, these guys are pretty impressive. So I don't know, Scott, don't blush. You know you're amazing. So Scott Tixier has actually performed alongside some legends. 
uh, I have a list of them, and I don't want to say the wrong one, but Ariana Grande, John Legend, Stevie Wonder, so many great performers. He's actually performed on the Jimmy Fallon Show with The Roots. Oh, that is my favorite. I've always wanted to meet one of The Roots, so I'm actually kind of starstruck right now. But he is a musician to the stars. He grew up in France, and that's why his name is Scott Tixier, even though there's an R at the end. <laughs> my heart the second he walked in here with his perfect hair. So Vinny is a traveling guitar artist who has also performed with some of the top, performed in the Lincoln Center, performed in the Sydney Opera House as well. He's been all over the world performing, so we are so, so fortunate to have these performers with us today. And Rishi, nobody forgot about you. I'll give him a quick intro later, but we have some really, really performing, really performing, really amazing performing artists up here, but I think we're ready to start our round. Let's hear a big round of applause for your girls once again, Fashion and Lifestyle. Yolanda Pickney, Miss Bronx. Oh, yes. That's you, guys. Olivia, Miss Fashion District, clothing by Tyrone Chablis. You don't just drink Chablis, you wear it. Mika Yu, Miss Manhattan. Filipino and Chinese. She's a registered nurse who volunteers 
for the United Ways as a certified reading mentor to children. She practices yoga, kickboxing, snowboarding, and dance. And yes, she was a cheerleader in high school. Sonali Chandra, Miss New York City. Sonali's beautiful red gown is designed by Caché. Jewelry by Breed Matt. This piece is particularly special to her, as she has been told that red is her power color. She is a model, actress, and dancer, and aspires to great molds for Asian models to mainstream brands. Suprova Ferdrosi, Miss Queen. From Bangladesh, she's an actress, model, and professional Bollywood dancer. Saprova is the art director and founder of Saprova Dance Company, which specializes in Bollywood fusion dance. She loves all kinds of animals, and one day she hopes to own horses, dogs, cats, rabbits, birds, all of it. Gloria Song, Miss West Village. Growing up half her life in Asia, she now works in the beauty industry, hoping to get her master's in cosmetics, opening her own men's skincare line. She works with charities promoting, promoting Asian culture awareness and training women for the professional career path of their choice. to present the Monarch Award. Come on up. All right, Doc. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. The Monarch Beauty Award is the one with the most radiant skin, and my choice is Miss Manhattan, Micah Liu. Yes, Micah! Take a seat and all the other girls, please exit. Thank you so much. We'll see you very soon. So this round is fun. It's a chance for you guys to really get to know some of our delegates. So I'm going to ask them questions. They have not heard these questions. They have not prepped for these questions. They have no idea what I'm going to ask them or who I'm going to ask them to. So watch out. I'm coming. All right, guys, our first question. Are you ready? Can I see like a bigger smile? Yeah. Okay. okay. Name a time that tourism and travel has made a difference in your life. Um, well, back in 2011, I got to go back to my native country, Cuba, for the first time since I was seven years old. So I was 21 at that age. And that tourism trip um, made such a big difference in my life as far as bringing me awareness into the poverty that is actually in my country in Cuba. Um, a lot of people know of Havana as Cuba and of the, the popularity and the culture and all of its colors, but they don't see what my town um, that's nine hours away from Havana has. Um, they could not afford toothbrushes. They could not afford bars of soap. They could not afford diapers. So I came prepared with toiletries and I passed them out to my family. And the humility that they had when they saw the gifts and they started crying made a big, big impact on me that I plan to go back and give more to my family and friends. Oh, thank you. <laughs> All right. Who's the next question going to? Is it you? Is it you? <laughs> All right, if selected as Miss New York, what is the one thing you would want people internationally to know about the US? 
definitely the amount of charity work that we do as uh, this pageant organization. Uh, we're very known for our charity work and the support that we give to the public. So that's something that I would really want the public to know and how diverse we are. Thank you. Well, we are diverse here in New York. We know that. <laughs> All right. So tell us a little bit about your charity work and why it's important to you. I was born and raised in America to parents who came here from India. Um, I remember as a child going to India many times and seeing up front how much poverty is in that country. And so when I first came to New York City, I made sure to get involved and volunteer with the American India Foundation. They help um, the impoverished and the uh, struggling kids of India through their nonprofit work. So I'm very proud to be associated with them. That's so sweet. You're worried I'm going to come back over there to you? No, Is that why you just looked at me like that? Oh, no. no tagsies, backsies, I get it. It's fine. All right. Tell me why you think cultural diversity is important. Why cultural diversity is important? Um, well, living in a melting pot in this United States, cultural diversity to me is important because it gives me as a Hispanic American a chance to prove that I am something more than just an immigrant. Um, especially just within the upcoming years, um, we have proven within um, ourselves that we can go to school, go to university, and become somebody. Um, my grandparents came here with nothing, no education, and my my mother's a nurse, my uncle is an um, eye surgeon, and everybody else that has followed has graduated from college, and I'm a proud graduate as well. So cultural diversity is very, very important because you get to express your culture in this country and show exactly who you are and what you're capable of doing while making your culture in your country proud of you. Did anyone else get an I graduated sticker? Good for nothing sticker. All right, tell us why New York culture is unique and different from any other culture. New York is by far the, not only the best city in America, but also the most diverse. And it's because of that diversity, we are strong. We are, every day, there's a reason why they say it's the city that never sleeps. Everyone's always doing something in, here, in this city because of where they came from. So I think that's our strength, that's what makes us unique, and that's what will carry us forward. Carry us forward, you heard that? That's you guys, that's New Yorkers. Carry us forward, please and thank you. What is your favorite New York landmark and why? I definitely have to say the Statue of Liberty. It's a landmark unique, um, I think around the world, everybody knows about it. And it stands for what the United States stands for, which is freedom and liberty. So that's definitely one of my favorite landmarks. Me too. I was that for Halloween. That is not a joke. <laughs> All right, girls, that concludes our question answer round for our first three contestants. You guys are free to go. Let's send out the next three contestants. I want all of your dresses. Feel free to have a seat, ladies. Unless you want to stand, I know. You get a good calf workout with these heels. I know. All right, ladies. The suspense. <laughs> it lingers. I can cut it with a knife. Look, you're just smiling there like I'm not going to come to you. Okay. No, let's start over here this time. All right. What is the best part about being a U.S. citizen? The best part of being a U.S. citizen is representing this beautiful, rich country, America. I was not born here in USA. I was born in the Philippines, and um, me being a U.S. citizen gives me a lot of privilege traveling in and out of country, especially I love traveling, and um, me being a U.S. citizen gives me that honor to show people uh, how beautiful and strong America is. And um, however, even if um, I'm not a Filipino citizen anymore, I am still proud that I am um, Filipino Chinese 
and even if I'm a U.S. citizen, I will still forever be honored um, being Filipino. Thank you. Yeah, that is one thing I never stop hearing at every international pageant that I go to. Every single girl, no matter what country, if, when I say, oh, I'm from New York, it's my dream to go to New York, everybody. So we are so, so fortunate to be here, and we should really remember that every day. Even with the New York hot dogs. I know there's a conspiracy there. They're poisoning us, I know. No, but there. I ate one on the way here. It's fine. Ah, uh, so tell me, if you could travel anywhere, where would it be and why? Well, I actually, oh, thank you. <laughs> well, the two places I would love to travel is Greece and Egypt. I love the history that all of them have. Um, I mean, Egyptian history, pyramids, pharaohs, the history is just so deep. And I mean, who wouldn't want to go to Egypt, you know? Nice weather, the Nile River is there. Um, with Greece, like I said, I love Greek mythology. It's one of my favorite things to study. So I would like to go to the place where I was born. Nice. Okay. I must say, I did return from Egypt two weeks ago, and the pyramids are awesome. Camel riding is not all they say it is, okay? Don't ride a camel if you're not ready and you don't have the ab strength. I'm serious. Hi, darling. I love your dress. I seriously do. Okay. Tell me, why is tourism important to you? Um, so tourism is a very important um, thing for me because I believe that um, sometimes not everybody is as fortunate to live in a very uh, multicultural and diverse community. Um, we happen to be very fortunate and lucky because we do live in a city that has up to like 800 languages spoken in just this city. And um, it's easy to just approach a different culture um, day to day. However, um, you know, when you live in certain countries that are a little more remote, harder to access, and the transportation is a little more difficult to reach there, um, it's hard to engage with people from different cultures. And I think that's why, despite of how social media and all these uh, media outlets are, have advanced, that brings the world closer and the communication closer together, um, we haven't been able to get as closer as a world because there's still those, um, those obstacles in you know, in the process um, for those countries that don't have as easy access. So I believe that um, tourism is important because when you travel to a country, it's the best way to really learn about a culture and the language. To fully immerse in it is probably the best way to learn it. So that's why it's important. Thank you. All right, darling, back to you. So what are some of these social problems we still encounter here in the United States, and what do you think is our best way to combat them? Um, I think the social problem that we have here in the United States is we still have racism in the country. Uh, the best way to combat them is not um, cyberbully people, especially now in the internet. It's so easy to bully other people because of their skin tone, because of their ethnicity. Um, the way that we can combat them is by being open, by being compassionate, by being kind to each and every one, regardless of their race or color, by not bullying other people. And um, that's how we fight it. Thank you. All right. Amen to that. I love that one. What's your favorite color? Three, two, one, go. Pink and blue. It's not your question, but it's good to know. <laughs> so when I say Statue of Liberty, what is the first thing that comes to mind? What does that mean to you? Freedom, and it definitely represents New York as a whole. And, um, you know, it just represents um, what we all stand for. We all want to be free. That's why people come to America to, um, you know, take advantage of everything that we have to offer and our education system, um, all the job opportunities. You know, America just have a lot to offer, um, stuff that other countries, unfortunately, don't have um, to offer their citizens. So that's what it represents. Yes, absolutely. Home of the free, home of the brave. We know the song. Everybody sing the song. No, I'm just kidding. Don't sing the national anthem. All right. Are you ready? Final question. So, what is your favorite travel spot, and why? 
My favorite travel spot was actually Turkey. Um, I spent about two weeks just uh, doing a whole tour of all of Turkey, including Istanbul. And the reason why, uh, despite all the places I have traveled, I love Turkey the most was because it, is, it was so dynamic because I went into the Blue Mosque and um, you know how there's a lot of religious wars and wars that are started because of religion? Um, but when I went into um, the Hagia Sophia, which is we also call the Blue Mosque, it was just amazing to see how they had um, still artifacts inside the Hagia Sophia from like the Mus um, the Islamic rule, the ruling time, and also from the um, from the Christianity like ruling like the Byzantine Empire, and they were coexisting so beautifully, and it makes me realize like that two like completely extreme different cultures could really coexist and create another kind of beautiful harmony and that's why i think it was the most uh like it was my favorite um trip and my favorite travel spot thank, thank you. you thank you darling and that is very true if you ever do visit turkey just a heads up it is uh the the mosque she's talking about is currently under construction for the next two years, so pause your travels until that's done because it is absolutely beautiful. You go in and you see all of the Islamic uh, artwork and you also see all the um, other people that have come and conquered them. Let's just put it that way. And all of their artwork is there too and it's just this mosque of coexisting and it's really beautiful, but it's under construction, so pause. Pause your travels, guys. All right, ladies, that is all for you. You can leave the stage. Thank you so much. Leave your dresses at the door. Thank you. We have Tara, who is the backbone of this operation, who has made dreams come true with a final speech. I just want to um, quickly address everyone and thank everyone for coming out to um, to this evening. It's um, also again to thank all the production um, team that's put um, put in a put in a lot of volunteer time and effort to make tonight possible. So I had started the Miss Tourism USA organization about two years ago when I had just the most life-changing experience when I myself represented the USA in Malaysia and then afterwards um, dis um, decided to found this as an organization because in the USA um, often we, we only understand the Miss America organization and the Miss uh, USA um, competition but there's so many wonderful international um, competitions that are out there so our organization I've been um, happy to announce like over the last year we've been able to send six girls to compete internationally our, our, our first year we sent almost um, seven girls to compete internationally and I hope um, with continued um, effort and, and involvement from um, from supporters such as yourself to contribute um, to the organization and then also um, uh, being a um, Filipino descent uh, I partnered with the Flops or Flips organization because um, there are um, there are communities out there that children grow up barefoot and it is a um, preventative measure that keeps them from going to school because you're required to have shoes in order to go into um, to go and have an education so that for, um, further perpetuates the cycle of, of poverty. So with that, it's a very simple and effective solution by uh, by giving a donating a flip flop. So again, thank you for all of those who participated in in um, our fundraiser effort for collecting flip flops. And um, again, thank you for joining us this evening. So I do actually have the final results, which I'm, I'm, I'm sure everyone is excited to hear the results of the evening. But before we move on to announcing a first runner-up and the winner of this evening, I'd like to invite our guest performers uh, again to do a final number. And thank you again uh, for spending your, your Saturday evenings here with us um, and um, support, uh, supporting our organization and our charity efforts. Again. <laughs>
the actual top two. We're going to have a first runner up in our new Miss Tourism New York. I'd like to thank the Miss Tourism Dream Team. Hashtag Miss Tourism Dream Team. I see you up there. You know who you are. You have worked day in and day out to make this possible. We've been on conference calls for God knows how long, so thank you for all of your efforts. Now, girls, one thing they do teach us internationally and nationally with Miss Tourism is that there is only one winner, and the most important part is to make friends and to make connections that will last you a lifetime. So no matter what happens here today, don't be discouraged, and make sure you leave home with a couple new Facebook friends and followers. Follow me, I'll follow you back, I promise. The first runner-up for Miss Tourism New York 2017. I'll just keep you guys up. Miss Manhattan, Michael Yu. All right. And the moment that we have all been waiting for. Your new Miss Tours of New York 2017. Can I get like, like crescendo? <laughs> Micah, who is Miss Tourism New Jersey. Both of them obviously are winners for tonight. Um, I have two questions to ask you girls. The first one is, how did you guys feel before the pageant and during the pageant? Um, I guess uh, before the pageant, um, it was interesting because um, we none of us actually met each other in person. Um, but um, going through like you know you get to know everybody and um, we all hear like the reason behind why they are competing and their life stories and it really brings you like close together into like a family in such a short period of time so I guess before and after the pageant like that we were totally strangers before and now we're like a family now so that's like a before and after experience for me um, hi this is actually my first pageant yes so for me to win all this awards is uh, I'm very honored. Um, of course, before the pageant, I was really, really nervous. I couldn't even sleep last night. But after the pageant, um, my my confidence grew. I have more confidence in myself that even if it's my first pageant, as long as I do the best that I can, I will win. Thanks. <laughs> all right, and my next question, which is actually a follow-up question. Now that the pageant is over, how do you guys feel? Do you feel relieved? Like, what are your emotions going through you right now? Well, now that the pageant has ended, um, I actually, I don't know what to think. I know that Tara has a lot of uh, stuff planned for us. Um, and, you know, one of the big functions of being, um, you know, having a crown is not to show off or flaunt it, but it's more so that you could be a role model to um, younger women to, you know, just like take the courage to do things for the community out there. So um, I'm sure that there's going to be a lot of involvement that we're going to do with the community and various charities. So um, I'm actually kind of excited, you know, now that we're done, 
I have more things to get excited about. <laughs> um, after the pageant, um, I plan to promote awareness with uh, the, you know, the poverty in the Philippines. I won the Miss Charity, and um, I, I plan to promote uh, like community problems, like to show the world that there's too many problems that we have to address. And um, as Miss New Jersey, I want to um, be an ambassador for that. Thank you. Thank you very much for your time. Thank yes. you, and have a great night. Thank you. Thank you. This is Nico signing out. Well, that's a wrap. I hope you enjoyed the pageant. It was very wonderful. All the entertainment was very lively and flashy, and it was really nice and entertaining in the end. I hope you enjoyed the show.